This is Florida Gulf Coast University. I'd like to introduce a wonderful group of artists who have really devoted three months of their lives to sharing these experiences and these personal insights with all of us tonight. I'm Andrew Cork. My show is Reduce, Reuse, Reanimate. In my show, I've created a series of artworks that I've coined reanimations. Ultimately, they're all made out of recycled objects. My goal is to express humanity's impact on our planet. I'm Tony. My show is titled Body Language, and it was inspired by the tattoo world and how tattoos have changed through history and how they've evolved and how us young people just get them because we get them. And it's kind of cool, right? My name is Jennifer Castano and my project is called Paradox. I would like to dedicate my project to my parents right here who have inspired me to live a very healthy and fit lifestyle. My project was inspired by the paradox between magazine advertisements and obesity growing in America. My name is Sydney Chasky. My work is titled Imprinted Perceptions of Perfection. It's about how we view beauty in the world and in ourselves and in each other. Just trying to break down barriers of social stigmas of what's beautiful, what isn't, and trying to bring light to finding beauty in unconventional places. My name is Rebecca Keir. My title is Dysfunctionally Functional. It explores families that might not seem perfect, but in a way they do function. All my pieces are my family members. I'd like to thank them for letting me paint them as my subject. My name is Leslie Ann Harris. My work is entitled Romance of Two Worlds, and it's sort of a little bit of what I'm feeling spiritually for this whole entire thing, which is a capstone of my life. It's something I've always wanted, just to get my art degree, and it's just a wonderful moment for me. My name is Matt Bickneys, and for my senior project, I chose to do a series of art games. The interactive aspect of it strengthens the connection between the audience and the artwork. My games are meant to be understood rather than beaten, like traditional games, and focus on concepts that include breaking routine, mortality in life, and moral and ethical decisions, and the motives and consequences behind them. I'm Sarah Gerardo. My work is titled Otherwise Vulnerable. It's based off the theme of vulnerability, and my pieces are to represent moments where we feel lonely or afraid, or even when you feel brave and you take down the walls that you've built up around you over time. I'm Shannon. My show is titled Touch Too Young. It comes from a place in me based on sexual abuse as a child, but with working on them, I've learned that these emotions don't only stem from the abuse I suffered, it stems from the world around me and everyone can feel it too. I'm Crystal Diff and I did Deviance Becomes Her and it's all about women who have deviated from social stereotypes and done amazing things. It's also about how women do not fit into just the social stereotypes. They can be beautiful, but you can be smart and courageous. I chose five women that I thought represented different aspects of that in history. I'm Megan Davis. My exhibition was The Exquisite Conversation, and I wanted to do a piece that people could get what they wanted out of it, and it's loose enough that you can interpret it many different ways, and it really becomes a conversation in surrealism because the different images juxtaposing on each other really allows you to bring forth the subconscious. My name is Chelsea Pence and my exhibition is titled Working Women. I was inspired by friends I have made in the sex industry, specifically strippers. I have had many interviews with these friends and watching them, it started to inspire me in my drawing. Their stories inspired my paintings. I also took a lot of my influence from art history, from the symbolist movement. My name is Andre Denis and my show is called The Cosmic Illusion. It is a conceptual look at the origins of the universe and cosmology. It deals heavily with astronomy and physics, and the artwork itself is meant to challenge the analytical mind to discover the hidden meaning behind the work. Hey, my name is Tracy Waterlander, and my show is Happily Ever After is So Once Upon a Time. I wanted to work with the theme of fairy tales and kind of break them free from the typical damsel in distress they're usually seen in. I'm Matt Harrison, and I did The Day We Killed Our Fathers, so it's based on the issues that we deal with America on a daily basis and I try to target things I feel that are a current problem. Apathy, intolerance, and entitlement. And I feel those are three major things that need to be worked on. I am so proud of the students. I'm so proud of the faculty who help shape, encourage, motivate, and inspire these students to give their best. I'd like to thank everybody who has had a hand in the education of these students.